Here you are in safe hands as we have independent accreditation from the Federation of Master Builders. With the added peace of mind that comes from Trustmark, a government-backed scheme to help potential customers find reputable firms, customers who employ a Federation of Master Builders builder can be completely satisfied that they are employing an independently vetted, competent and trustworthy builder. We have invested in the latest 3D imaging design software to produce models which can be viewed on a digital photograph and any changes made viewed in real time. The same size conservatory, for example, can be quickly and easily redrawn and the resulting pictures are viewed together to get a true indication of which design is correct without having to go to the trouble of building. You can see the same house with three different conservatory designs superimposed. We can also model a site in three dimensions to allow an overview of whether a proposed building sits correctly. You may have seen these techniques used in home improvement and renovation shows on the television, but until recently they have only really been the preserve of high-end architects, but we are able to offer this design service. So following our initial survey, we get on and build the substructure of your conservatory. It's essential that this is done correctly, because with it being a glass building, any movement is going to cause serious problems. And with that in mind, we build the same standard of build as you would expect a two-storey building to sit on. We go down 650mm, which is more than two foot, and 450mm in width. The laying out of the building is done with a field light and laser levels so that we can be absolutely sure that, what, sure that what we create is a perfectly square, level and flat conservatory base. When digging footings we never use machinery as these cause additional damage to site so all our footings are dug by hand and you can see the lack of damage uh, to the garden. Crucially, with every conservatory, we always consider drainage runs, as this is normally on the back elevation of a property where most of these services are in place. We would never dig round or cover over a drain, we would always support, as you can see in this photograph, with solid 9 inch reinforced lintels. We're now looking at a plan view of the conservatory and the concrete has been poured, we pour a minimum of 600ml of concrete to, ready to receive the brickwork or blockwork that's going to bring the level up to the down proof course or the finished floor level inside the conservatory. This photograph displays the we would normally excavate down to around 300ml digging the trench to clear the site of any looks as excess vegetation and, and to level everything and then we build up the level with what's called a pressure. It's basically the same material that's used for building roads. It compacts nice and hard and solid. And then on top of that, we put a sand in, called a blinding. And that prevents any hard and sharp edges from puncturing the damp proof membrane, which is pulled across. On top of this is a polystyrene insulation to stop any coldness from coming through to the inside of the conservatory. And then concrete is poured on top to give a nice flat and level surface to lay the final floor finish. You can see how we fix the new cavity wall to the existing house by using a starter pack, an aluminium starter pack, which gives um, complete anchorage between the new wall uh, and it prevents any slippage or cracking uh, with aluminium tyres. This shot shows the completion of the substructure. The gap is ready for external French doors. Uh, the big white arrow shows the vertical damp proof course to prevent any condensation uh, from penetrating. Our surveyor is just checking that nothing's twisted, all the alignments are perfect, and checking the levels both vertically, horizontally, and diagonally, ready for manufacture of the conservatory unit itself. As the second survey continues, you can see the trowel finished uh, concrete floor ready to receive a uh, flooring tile or a, a laminate floor. And you can also see the cavity wall insulation which has been compacted into the cavity to prevent any heat loss through there. Following the construction of your conservatory base, it really needs two to three weeks to go nice and hard and solid for us to be able to be ready to actually put your conservatory on top of. 
This allows us time to go ahead and render manufacture of your conservatory itself. This is done under a very strict quality management profile called ISO 9002. To give an example of this, at periodic intervals through the day, a mitre weld is what's called destruction tested. The profile must break before the weld itself, otherwise all of the welding heads must be recalibrated. Prior to dispatch, the whole conservatory is assembled, disassembled, shrink-wrapped and then delivered directly to site. Site. Here we see the connection of the wall frame to the aluminium box section which follows the shape of the roof. Because of the accuracy of manufacture, this whole process is very simple and straightforward. Here we look on plan at the connection of the ring beam. You can see here that everything is dry fix, all the fixings are stainless steel and they're self tapped directly into the aluminium itself. Because this is all done at the factory, there's no chance of any mistakes being made on site. Structural timber has been installed here to ready to receive for UPVC cladding and a high end box gutter. And you can see the first fix electrics are now installed. Here we see our installer with a fixing tool. The entire roof can be installed with this one single tool. Because of this it ensures complete accuracy. All of the hard work is done in serving and at the factory. You can see here the fully welded aluminium box cutter. So there's no chance of any leakage into the conservatory. You can also see the insulation, the black section underneath the box gutter there is insulation to prevent any cold bridging into the conservatory. And you can see above all the lead work that's been done to flash that into the uh, fascia board. You can see here the accuracy with which the glazing bars sit onto this box gutter to allow a smooth transition of rainwater from the roof into that gutter. And it's also uh, apparent that you can't see any fixing in between the rafter and the box gutter itself because all of that's done from inside so there's no chance of any water ingress from the outside of the roof through to the inside. Here the installer has finished the lead flashing, mortar is chased out and then this step lead flashing is put in the traditional way of preventing any water ingress into the conservatory. Because of the accuracy of manufacture we were able to install this entire roof in one day. Here you can see a jack rafter and you can see the dry fix nature of the roof again and all the neoprene seals that are co-extruded with the UPVC itself so that there's no degradation by sunlight ultraviolet or any atmospheric pollutants. Looking back into the conservatory now we can see the high end box gutter uh, as it's all been clad in UPVC and we can see the opaque polycarbonate. This was due to it being a south facing elevation and this gives some protection from the sunlight and also some privacy for the client. Just about the finished article, all the walls have been sized and plastered. We've supplied a laminate floor internally and you can see the internal French doors have all now been cleaned. Here you can see the job fully completed, well designed, well surveyed and well installed and you can see the amazing lack of disturbance to the garden in general.